Today we're in La Jolla, a beautiful area in central San Diego, known for its affluence and beautiful real estate options, breathtaking beaches, and so much more. In this video, we're going to discover everything there is to know about living, working, and playing in this breathtaking community, which might be my favorite area in all of Southern California, so stay tuned. Hello everyone, my name is Richard Soto, a local real estate broker with VIP Realty, the premier firm in real estate right here in California. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as we do weekly videos discussing what it's like to live, work, and play in SoCal. Today, we are in one of my most favorite cities in the whole state, which is going to be La Jolla. La Jolla is nicknamed the Jewel of the Sea, and it's one of the most popular beach destinations in the entire state. There is so much to like in regards to living, working, and just hanging out in La Jolla. I just finished up a bottle of cab, had myself some calamari right here next to the beach, the views, the service. I met some friends from Texas that just moved to La Jolla recently, and they absolutely love it. They can't stop raving about how much happier they are with their quality of life since they relocated right here to La Jolla. So let's get right into it. La Jolla is rated by Niche.com as the sixth best neighborhood to live in San Diego due to its beautiful beaches, great neighborhoods, outstanding public schools, low crime, and a plethora of things to do and see. There is so much to discuss, so we're about to get right into it, starting with the location. And let's start with a con real quick. The main problem with La Jolla's location, which is mostly a lot to like, however, there's only one way in and one way out. So if you're a real estate broker like myself, or you have to travel for business on a daily basis, ah, this might not be the ideal place for you. You're gonna have to deal with a lot of traffic, so that's part of the issue in regards to the location right here in La Jolla. Other than that, the seaside community of La Jolla occupies seven miles of coastline along the Pacific Ocean within the North County of San Diego. It's surrounded on three sides by ocean bluffs and beaches. The main route in and out of La Jolla is the I-5 freeway. It's approximately 14 miles from the airport with an average drive time of 20 minutes. La Jolla is centrally located and is easy to get from anywhere. So the location isn't terrible, especially for someone like myself who has to fly back and forth from Texas to California dang near on a monthly basis. I have offices in both states, so I have to frequently travel back and forth. The only issue with this location is getting in and out. However, 20 minutes to the airport isn't bad, especially if you have to travel a lot for business or for leisure. My kids love going to Mexico as often as they possibly can. So we're at the airport quite frequently, very short drive. Okay, so who lives and resides right here in La Jolla? The population is going to be around 45,000 people and it's going to be a white collar type of town. Obviously, as we get into the video, you're going to realize that it's very, very expensive to live in this particular city. The average household income is going to be near $200,000, which is no drop in the bucket. The high income mentioned earlier comes from employers who are not traditional organizations. La Jolla is a community where internet jobs and high-tech employment are typical. Employers are well-known companies such as Google, Cisco, Apple, Qualcomm, just to name a few. Okay, what are you going to do for entertainment if you live in La Jolla? And there's going to be numerous things to do, obviously starting with the beach. So if you want to get some exercise, maybe run up and down the coastline, bike around the coastline. Maybe you want to go surf, kayaking. Maybe you want to jump on a jet ski, go sailing. <laughs> There's going to be limitless options right here at this particular beach. Sun tanning, obviously something that you and I both know that I don't need to do. However, there's people playing volleyball, tossing the football around, playing soccer, so many families, dogs. Guys, it is a beautiful day 
once again in Southern California. What a great place to reside in, especially if you can afford to live in La Jolla. If golf is your thing, La Jolla is home to the famous Torrey Pines Golf Course and the Lodge at Torrey Pines. The scenic cliff area offers well-groomed hiking trails with spectacular views and world-class golf. Okay, guys, once again, there's so many things to do at the beach. As you can see right behind me, we have people playing volleyball. I tried to join the game. However, they said something about it. It's only two on two, basically saying, Richard, we are intimidated by your great athletic ability. So we don't want you to play. Because I literally said, listen, guys, it can be all four of you against me. I ain't scared. But anyway, we're just going to have to move on to the next scene in regards to living in La Jolla. Okay, guys, let's move on to the schools right here in La Jolla. And if you have kids like I do, I have two boys that go to elementary and high school and public education is of the utmost important in the Soto household, mainly because I refuse to pay for private school. And if you live in La Jolla, don't worry, you're not going to have to send your kids anywhere because the public ISD is going to be exceptional. According to niche.com, the La Jolla schools receive an A+, which it doesn't get any better than that. So as you can see, the public school district is going to be exceptional right here in La Jolla which is absolutely great. I have only moved to three different areas since my kids have been born. And each time that I've picked the neighborhood or city, it's always been led by choosing which area has the best school district. To me, that is the most important, especially if you have kids. Okay, moving on to the next topic, which is going to be crime and safety. And if you reside right here in La Jolla, you're going to be in one of the safest cities in the country. People aren't going to spend millions of dollars if they're not going to be in the safest neighborhood that they can possibly locate. According to niche.com, La Jolla received an A rating, which is going to be exceptional. So whether you're walking around in the morning, noon, or night, it does not matter. You're going to feel safe, you're going to be secure, and you won't have to <laughs> Put those haymakers on anybody to defend yourself because La Jolla is one of the safest cities in the U.S. There we go. I got personal protection at all times, guys. Thank you, officer. Appreciate it. <laughs> Residents who have been surveyed note that the police are both very visible and responsive in La Jolla. While there is some crime, survey respondents commented that it's not very noticeable. Okay, guys, let's move on to shopping. And there's going to be numerous shopping destinations right here in La Jolla, all within a walkable distance. So if you're looking for some of the best shopping in San Diego, you need to visit La Jolla. Some very upscale boutiques can be found right here in the city. You can shop American and European designers, both well known and obscure. Most of the best shopping in La Jolla is in the village. Prospect Street overlooks the Pacific Ocean and is lined with small specialty shops, boutiques, antiques, and art galleries. In addition to offering elegant designer fashion and sophisticated apparel shops, La Jolla is known for its exquisite and original fine jewelry and magnificent and brilliant gems. Okay, let's move on to dining options, and you're going to have a plethora of different options, whether you're wanting a slice of pizza or some gourmet food, you can definitely find whatever it is that you're looking for right here in La Jolla. And don't worry, you won't run out of establishments too frequent because there's going to be a ton of restaurants right here in the city. Views of the Pacific Ocean can be admired from any of the restaurants. Three worthy dining options are the Ocean Terrace Rooftop Patio, George's Bar, or California Modern. We're talking a locally sourced seasonal menu in contemporary environment. However, there are many noteworthy restaurants like the Marine Room. This world-class restaurant sits directly on the water where you'll see the waves crash up against the floor-to-ceiling windows while you eat. Definitely an experience you'll never forget. Guys, and that is exactly where I'm about to hit. However, you know, I didn't dress up for the occasion, so I might have to head back and change. You know, it's not necessarily formal wear, but it's definitely not casual wear. However, it's a place that I haven't dined at yet, and I definitely want to check it out soon, so tonight might be the night.
Okay, let's go to the second option right here in La Jolla. And if you don't have $7 million to spend on a four bedroom, four bath, don't worry. There are going to be other options right here in La Jolla. Right behind me is a townhome that's for sale, offering two bedrooms, two bath, right at around 980 square feet, currently on the market for $885,000. Okay, let's move on to the next item, which is definitely not my favorite, and that is going to be the cost of living. If you want access to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, exceptional schools, an area that has extremely low crime, guys, you're going to have to pay for it. And if you want to reside in La Jolla, it's going to cost you big bucks. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me right here in La Jolla. Any day in La Jolla is going to be spectacular. If you're thinking about relocating to La Jolla, Southern California, San Francisco, LA, throughout the state, my team and I would love to assist you with your next real estate transaction. For now, I'm about to hit up Puesto, have myself a cold margarita, and call it a night. So I'll see you on the next video.